Well, uh, I definitely never thought that I would make this video. My name is Kai. In 2022, I bought this school bus. I've been working on turning it into a tiny home. The people who like do the bus conversion and film everything the whole way, fucking props. When I bought this bus, I was in a really low spot. I had lost my job, it was the middle of the pandemic. I was going through a lot of tough life transitions and I needed somewhere to live that wasn't my grandma's house, which is where I was at the time. I had no plans, I had no idea what I was gonna do. Because I didn't know where I wanted to go, a tiny home on wheels felt like the best option to leave more roads open for me in the future. So, uh, I bought that. Oh, <laughs> We're moving! If you're interested in that whole situation and what brought me to this bus and the beginning process of building the bus, I'll link those videos so that you can see it. I haven't been on YouTube in about a year. So much has changed. I'm gonna do my best to fill in the gaps. First thing is that I fell in love with my best friend. He owns a house and it's a really beautiful home and I honestly just felt like a kid at Disneyland getting to move into his house, get to make his home my own, get to build a garden and do all of that. Honestly, it was kind of overwhelming. It was a lot all at once to take in, but now that my head's had time to like catch up to it all and settle into what has happened and how much my life has transformed in the last year, I just feel such an overwhelming sense of gratitude. By moving into this house with my boyfriend, I had to make some pretty tough decisions. The life I was planning with my bus wasn't really a plan at all. I was honestly just kind of running away onto the road. And at first, my boyfriend was really down for that. He has a really adventurous spirit, but he had been spending years building a business here in Arizona. He didn't want to leave all of that behind just to jump onto the road and see what happens. He got the opportunity to lease a space here locally and finally do his business in an actual facility. When he said yes to that opportunity, it gave me two choices. To keep pursuing the bus and life in the direction that I was headed, or switch gears completely and stay with him. You can guess which one I chose. Holding on to the bus was me holding on to the idea of what my life could have been. It became part of my identity in a way. My whole bus project was the thing that got me out of bed every day. But I realize now that keeping it has been my way of keeping one toe on the other side of the line. Been my just in case option, in case things don't go the way I'm planning for them to go now. I don't want to let the things that have happened to me in the past dictate how I respond to life now. And you know the whole leap and the net will appear thing? I really do believe in that. You have to take that first leap of faith in order for the universe to support you.
I've been working on a few videos playing with new ways of sharing. Now that I'm not making videos about the bus, it's opened up what it would mean to just express myself creatively. I have been loving it. It's been so much fun to create from my heart and just share the parts of my life that feel really beautiful and inspiring. I'm hoping that through filmmaking, I'll be able to connect with you in a much deeper way. I do wanna say thank you so much for being here and thank you so much to the Schooly community I have felt so much love and support. It really is such an epic community here on YouTube and the whole process up until this point would have been really daunting if it wasn't for you guys. So that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching and for being here. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah.